Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Brendan Gaughan's Kodak Dodge from 2004. This was his rookie cup car, so if you're into rookie cars, but let's take a quick look at the box at Kodak Easy Share System, Brendan Gaughan number 77, Action Racing Collectibles. Kodak Racing, Brendan Gaughan 77, Action Collectibles, officially licensed NASCAR, same stuff as you would expect by now. See that they made a total of 3,600 of these things, and copyright and such on the bottom. Here is the car itself. It is a very, very nice looking paint scheme. This is a Penske car, if you didn't know. This is kind of the start of the Penske 77, which died with Sam Hornish. <laughs> Rightfully so, this car never did anything. <laughs> Brendan Gaughan didn't do much in it, Travis Quaffle didn't do much in it, Hornish didn't do much in it. This was just never a good car for Penske. So, not surprised that they haven't brought it back, or probably never will bring it back. The 22, other third car that they ended up bringing out, ended up being 10 times better. <laughs> Well, let's do a quick 360 of the car, as usual. Obviously, you've been watching my videos. It's no surprise that I like Pennzoil stuff, but the other paint teams I've always loved have been Kodak cars. Kodak cars just really have a very unique, bright look to them that I've just always very enjoyed. I have a few different Kodak cars. If you remember, I took a look at the Rusty Wallace 2004 Kodak car on my channel already, so if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. But there's a few others that I'll plan to get and a few others that I do have. Let's get down to the sponsors and such. On the hood, you have Kodak Easy Share System, Jasper Engine and Transmission, Dodge. I always thought it was weird that these, like, Intrepids never actually said Intrepid on it. Like, not, it doesn't say anything on these cars. I always thought that was kind of strange that they wouldn't want to advertise what car it was. On the side, you have Kodak, Mobile One, Sirius, Jasper Engines, and Transmissions. On the B post, you have Dodge, PPG, Bosch, Snap-on, and Mazak. Nothing on the C post. On the back, you see the rookie stripes right back there. Got Kodak 77 and Dodge. And you have just press share on the trunk lid. Nothing on the roof back then. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. See that it just says Kodak. Nothing else. That's even coming across. There's Kodak in like dark red letters up at the top right there. There's the engine detail if you would like to see it. Take a look under the deck lid. Your typical fuel cell and such back there. No opening roof flaps back then. And there's the underside of the car. It does have the sticker tires. And the gold exhaust piece. Now, like I said, I already looked at this Rusty Wallace car, so I might as well do a comparison between the two, since they are both Penske Kodak cars. See, there is actually some differences in these two cars. That, you know... They aren't just a copy-paste paint scheme. It's got the same basic design. As you can see, it's got the red swoosh all throughout the back. But you can see that the Rusty Wallace one actually does go lower. You see, this one goes swooshes all the way up to, like, right under Goodyear and then goes into the headlights, where this one goes down at Goodyear and kind of swaps around the uh, splitter area. That's which one I like better. I mean, I think I, I like the kind of fancier design of this one but this one does look kind of cool with the like basic black would have preferred if the top was maybe black too but these cars never ran at the same time rusty wallace's ran at watkins Glen in 2004 this was his like standard primary paint scheme but in this race he ran a different paint scheme. it was like kind of a reverse it was closer to this car but it was a reverse where it was you know it was red the yellow swoosh and then this was like the hood and the trunk were white it was like kodak cancer screening or something so these didn't run at the same time that would have been cool to see them on the track at the same time but there's that comparison if anyone wanted to see that so overall this car is not hard to get at all if you want it like you know since it was kind of a flop in this car flop cars rarely ever actually do anything but it's a nice paint scheme and you know a lot of people like running gone so having his rookie car is always fun but this car you can easily get for 10 20 bucks if you really look for it but I think that's pretty much all there's to say. This has been a review of Brendan Gaughan's Kodak Dodge from 2004. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.